Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing well. Today we're going to be looking at the best NVIDIA driver for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 in VR. I've been experimenting lately with two different drivers. I've tested the latest versions of both the Game Ready driver and the Studio driver. I haven't actually done this before, but after quite a few of you have mentioned this to me in the comments, I thought I might as well go ahead and try it. My intention of this video is to demonstrate the performance of each driver in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 using VR and find out a little more about each one. I was keen to see how each driver performed, mainly because Microsoft Flight Simulator requires a lot of 3D rendering when running. Studio drivers are meant for users who utilize creative software such as video editing and 3D modeling, but can also be used for gaming, whereas the game ready drivers are used for gaming, but also run creative software well. So I just wanted to compare the two and see how they run with Microsoft Flight Simulator. Both drivers are available for the NVIDIA website. Here you can see the GeForce Game Ready driver, the latest version 472.12. If you want to see more detailed demo with that, please click on the link above. And here we have the NVIDIA Studio driver version 472.12. This is the latest release of the driver, and this is the other one I'm going to be demonstrating. I definitely recommend visiting the NVIDIA website and reading more about both the Game Ready and the Studio driver. Here are the main details from NVIDIA. Quote, if you are a gamer who prioritizes day of launch support for latest games, patches and DLCs, choose the Game Ready drivers. If you are a content creator who prioritizes reliability for creative workflows, including video editing, animation, photography, graphic design and live streaming, choose studio drivers. Do a little bit of both? No worries, either can support running the best games and creative apps. And now we'll take a look at how to change the drivers. So there are two ways of doing this. The first option is to go directly to the NVIDIA website and download each driver in turn. I'll leave a link directly to each driver in the description below in case you want to try it. But you can also do this by using the GeForce experience, which I'll go through now. The first thing you need to do is to make sure your current driver is up to date. It tells you here that you've got the latest GeForce Game Ready driver. And if it doesn't, you can just click on check for updates and it'll update it to the latest version of the current driver type you have. If you click on the three dots next to the check for updates, you'll see that you can switch between Game Ready and Studio Driver. To make that switch, you simply click on the Studio Driver and you click on the download button there. This will download the most recent and up to date version. And you can see here it's downloading. When it has finished downloading, you'll be prompted to install it. And I recommend doing a full uninstall rather than the express installation. I can't show you this part in the video because it cut off as it was resetting the graphics drivers. But it's quite a straightforward process. You just simply follow the prompts with the installation and your monitors will go on and off a few times as it installs the driver. To revert back to the original driver you had, which is most likely the game ready driver, you simply repeat the process, it will re-download the driver and then you install it again and you're back to square one. And that's how you switch between the two drivers, the game ready driver and the studio driver using the GeForce experience. Next, let's check out the performance of each driver. Remember, I am using a 3080 card and I understand a lot of people are using a 20 series, therefore you may get different results on your machines. So it might be worth trying this out yourselves and seeing if it makes any improvements with either driver. So here we can see the game ready driver in action. You've got the FPS counter on the right. I'm flying over Santiago in Chile and I'm flying low on purpose so I can really try and push the performance. I'm using the same settings as my last video which you can see in the link above. And I'm sticking around 30 frames per second with really good results. You may notice some shimmering on the dashboard and on the buildings in front of me, but that's just evident in the video capture because of the resolution. The clarity and smoothness in VR with my latest settings are really what makes it stand out in this headset, and we can see this again here. I've chosen to display the FPS counter just so we can compare the two drivers, but honestly it's not really that important. What's more important is personal preference in terms of smoothness versus clarity, and getting the headset dialed in so we can experience both in the best way possible. I was really intrigued to see if there would be any big difference between the two drivers, so I was keen to do this demo. And here we have the NVIDIA Studio driver. I'm flying over a very similar flight path, very low, just to push the graphics card. And you can see that it's just about identical to the Game Ready driver. The FPS reading is very, very similar. The colors, the clarity, the smoothness, Everything's pretty much the same. I can't really see a difference between the two. I don't really know why it's so similar or if it even should be any different. And remember, as always, my tests and demos are for my system and your results may differ. I did find this test interesting and I think it's always good to explore options in order to try and get Microsoft Flight Simulator in VR running as well as it can do. Although you may not want to try this on your own PC, I think it's good information to have. Remember, if you do try testing the drivers, make sure you do a full install and uninstall rather than the express installation. I have had quite a few people comment about these two different drivers 
and some people are experiencing improvements in VR using that studio driver. So it may well be worth a try. For my system, I recommend the NVIDIA Game Ready Driver version 472.12 as the best NVIDIA driver for VR. But I definitely encourage you guys to experiment with this and figure out what works best for you. I hope watching these demos and tutorial helped you today in terms of understanding which NVIDIA driver type is best for a Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. To be honest, I kind of expected the Game Ready Driver to be fine, but I wanted to perform the test anyway, as quite a few of you are asking about it. As always guys, if you like this content, please like and subscribe, and I look forward to making the next video soon. Please let me know in the comments below if you've tried switching drivers before, and if your results were any better with either driver. It'd be great to hear from you. And in the meantime guys, as always, take care, and stay safe.